question 7 part A. We have a number line with the following shown. We've got a solid circle at the number 2 and then an arrow pointing to the left and we're being asked to write down the inequality shown in that number line. So a solid circle implies that we include this number 2 and everything to the left of it, everything that is smaller than 2 is included here. So x are values here based on x on the number line. x is going to be less than or equal to 2. Part B, minus 4 is less than or equal to 2y is less than 6. That inequality doesn't have y on its own yet, so we can first of all divide everything by 2 in order to make y on its own, and that will give us the following inequality. Minus 2 is less than or equal to y is less than 3. We're told that y is an integer, so it's only going to be whole numbers only, no decimals involved here, and we're being asked to find all of the possible values of y. So in other words, what whole numbers are greater than or equal to 2, or in other words, minus 2 is less than or equal to what whole numbers, and these whole numbers must be less than 3. So minus 2, by definition of this equal to, actually I'll pick a different color here, this equal to, minus 2 is going to be included within this list of numbers. We're then looking at the whole numbers that are bigger than it, the integers that are bigger than it, up until we get 3. However, this does not include 3, which means 3 is not on our list. So minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2 are our answers for that. Part C, solve the following inequality. It's linear, so we can rearrange it to get all the letters on the same side, get the finally get t on its own, just like any linear equation. Just be careful, whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, that will change the sign of this. So the first step I would take is get all the letters on the left and the numbers on the right, purely because of the fact that there's more letters on the left. So if we take away 2t from both sides and we add 3 to both sides, that will give us 5t on the left. It will give us a 34 on the right. And then when you divide both sides by 5, we're going to end up with 6.8. So t is less than or equal to 6.8. Done.